the vast majority of criminal cases in district court involve an alleged victim. So it could be an assault and battery, it could be a violation of a restraining order, a larceny, um, destruction of property. Uh, there's many ways in which a case involves a victim or an alleged victim. Now often the alleged victim does not want to participate with the police, or the prosecutor, or the prosecution, and they want the case dropped. And very often the, uh, the victim can assert a privilege uh, and refuse to testify. So maybe they can assert the fifth, uh, their right against self-incrimination, if they might have done something wrong and refuse to testify. They can assert a spousal privilege if the defendant is their spouse. Or often they simply don't answer the prosecutor's phone calls. Uh, they don't respond to letters sent from the prosecutor's office. They eventually get summons to court and they just ignore the summons. They don't even appear. Now, in many cases, the prosecutor, when they have a reluctant witness or victim, they will simply dismiss the case. Occasionally, the prosecutor will cling to whatever he's got and, and take the case to trial regardless of the wishes of the victim. Now this could be he could have statements against interest made by the defendant, maybe he has an excited utterance, maybe there's what's called a precipient witness, in other words a third party witness who saw what happened. However, if the victim is not there at trial, it is tremendously damaging to the prosecutor's case. And in fact, every time I've seen a case brought to trial without the alleged victim, the defendant is acquitted, at least on the charge involving the victim. And there are some judges who it's almost a guarantee that you are going to lose as the prosecutor if you bring a case and the alleged victim is not on board and not participating. I would imagine uh, it has happened and prosecutors have had success doing it. I have never seen it uh, and I believe the odds are in most cases stacked against them as soon as the victim uh, refuses to participate and refuses to testify. I've written a blog post on this and I'll put it in the description below.